Welcome back. We are here on Etor looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily fact forecast for Tuesday, November 10th, 2020. And if you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in, in order to see our newest videos. We have a signal service over at Patreon. You're welcome to join us over there. We already have over 40 uh, tra acting traders and uh, you will also get access to the full technical analysis uh, if you join that uh, membership. So if you look at the um, US dollar index first, so we rallied as expected. We ran into support here, which was previous support, and now we're rallying up towards the 50 moving average. So a break above the 50 moving average opens the door to 94 and then to 94 and 0.6 and 7 and then to the 200 moving average. Don't expect this to break this support area. It has been historically support and if we want were to break it, we would probably bro broken it already this Monday. Technical indicators are looking fairly bullish for this market at this point. And of course, this is going to have major implication for commodities, indices, and also precious metals. However, probably not today because of the announcement of the new vaccine, which basically shot the entire market up uh, basically to overbought positions. So you look at oil, we can see that we rallied significantly, found uh, support here down at the 200 moving average around the 37.22. And then we rallied all the way up to 41.5. Absolutely ridiculous. And of course, this is complete nonsense because the new vaccine is not ready. It helps around 90% of the patients. I don't know. It's one out of 10. It doesn't help. That doesn't seem like uh, a very good vaccine, to be very honest. Um, and... Um, and it won't be ready until one year. So tomorrow probably is a new day and market will basically uh, wake up and find out, okay, there is no demand in the world economy for oil and therefore we already started falling in, in the oil market. We'll see whether or not we have uh, support here at the 50 moving average. If not, we'll fall right back to where we were and even lower. So that is where we are going. Um, we rallied uh, basically due to uh, speculation and an anticipation. But even though we had a vaccine today, things are not going back to these period uh, prior to the coronavirus and so on. There just isn't that um, demand for oil in the world economy at the moment. Technical indicators are fairly, they are not very good at this point they are very bullish even though this is a market that is in a downtrend but that is due to this massive massive increase today so if you look at natural gas we are getting extremely close to um to this uh, 50 moving week average we are at this point touching the uh touching the whoa where did this go we're touching the the um, Trend line here, which has been a significant support historically here, here, here. So we tested this five times and I don't expect this to break. Even though this breaks, we have the support of the 50 moving average underneath. And if that breaks, then of course we are going lower. We're going to 2.6 and uh, even lower than that. But technical indicators for this market are turning around and that may indicate that we are going to see something similar to this. So this is a market that is anticipated to go much higher. We are running into the colder months. We are trading the December contracts at this point, And therefore, we are expecting this to basically go significantly higher. We, if we rally from here, the test will be 3.3. So if you look at copper, copper for some, uh, basically the reason for this is basically the vaccine because anticipation of, uh, of the world going back to prior to the coronavirus and uh, made this market rally but we found resistant here at uh, 3.2 and now we're trading in between 3.2 and the 50 moving average around uh, 3.0 so this 
is expected to fall towards the 50 moving week average again. And if we fall further, break the 50 moving average, then we're going down to these levels at 2.9 and then 2.8. So if you look at gold, which was very interesting today, because as I have been saying for many, many, many weeks now, there is absolutely no reason to expect us to break this resistant area at this point. We are most likely going to go down to 1800 level before we start rallying significantly. So even though we get a uh, vaccine in one year time, we need to get the world economy back going again. And that means more stimulus, that means more monetary um, expansion from the central banks and so on. And that is just going to make this market go significantly higher. At this point, we found resist support here at, uh, at 1850. And then we pull back from there. But technical indicators are very bearish. So don't be surprised if this market goes significantly lower. Target is 1800 at this point. So if you look at silver, same goes for here. There's a lot of a lot of resistance above the 50 moving average. We just touched this area here, pull back all the way down to uh, $23 and 23.5. And at this point, we are probably going to test 22.6 and also 21.6 and then towards the $20 range before we rally. Technical indicators for silver are looking fairly bearish at this point. Um, so expect this market to go lower than this. So if you look at Kokoa, so Kokoa did basically what we expected it to do. It rallied up towards the 50 mo 200 moving average. It may cross the 200 moving average, but this is not an, a, a promising indication for us touching the 200 moving average because there was a lot of selling going on here. If we break the 50, 200 moving average, we go to the 50 and there will be definitely find major resistance and that will push this market lower. We're trading in between uh, major uh, resistance at 2.7 and major support at 2.0. So. If we touch the 50 moving average, that is a possible sell towards the 2.0. At this point, no reason to buy this because we're definitely not going through this area here. If, well, technically something extremely uh, extreme happens in the world economy. Technical indicators for Cocoa are very bullish at this point. So we may see a move further to the upside. So look at Platinum. Platinum is trading at this point in a very, very small range. We are having major problems getting through this area and we will have major problems getting to all of this area here. And that was not what I was supposed to write, but that area there. So this will be support. This will be resistant. This is where we're trading in between the 50 and the 200 moving average and this has none of my interest. I don't know who trades this. This is very volatile. Uh, actually, fairly big moves in between. But at some point, it, it we need to break to the upside in order to get a real trend. At the moment, we are trading sideways. And uh, this has no interest of mine whatsoever. Technical indicators are fairly bearish at this point. But we also had this massive move to the downside. 200 moving average is support 50 moving average is fairly resistant at least this area is major resistant at this point so if you look at sugar we can see that we are trading sideways in sugar and at this point we need a move towards the 50 moving average uh, uh buying at this point a selling at this point is just too risky there the move for, for this market is to pull back towards the 50 and then rally from there in order to get a trade. Uh, this is a market that is overstretched. It is uh, getting closer to the 50 moving average because we're trading sideways, but we're still quite far away. Uh, technical indicators for sugar are still fairly bullish, but I think that we won't break these highs until we have a pullback um, and get some momentum in this market. So if you look at wheat, this is a very interesting market. At this point, we are touching the nearly the 
the trend line. Yeah, we're actually on the trend line. We'll probably rally from here or we break down towards the 50 moving average. You can basically write trend line, something like that. So we're not really there yet. So we need to go towards the trend line and the 50 moving average in order to rally. Um, probably this is going to be the area. This is 591. And uh, yes, this is a, we need, technically just need to watch the technical indicators. They are very bearish at this point. When the CCI starts to turn around, stochastic starts to turn around, that is the moment that you can technically enter this market. A break below the 50 moving average opens the door to these high lows of the 566 and the 200 moving average. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button uh, in order to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon in order to see our full technical analysis of the commodities and precious metals market. So good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.